Greetings everyone, it's Kane here. Welcome to my video. The sun is starting to go down, so I better get to filming. So I've been living in this car for a year now. I own a 2022 Corolla hatchback. These are the, some of the coolest cars, hatchbacks and minivans, in my point of view. They're fuel efficient, they're spacious. They're just cool cars all in all. Anyway, in this video, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour tell you about my journey a year ago I made a decision to live in my car by choice and because I have to I didn't want to live with anyone I wanted my own space and if I did get my own apartment I'd be eating canned beans and ramen and I didn't want to do that so I decided To live plain and simple and live in my car it's been fun it's been adventurous it's been uh hectic during the winter time and uh overall it's not too bad i've only had one encounter with the police they left me alone uh I woke up with their flashlights looking in through my window. This was like when I first started, like almost a year ago. But uh, the journey continues. I bring you guys along and make videos of all kinds. So subscribe, like, share my videos, hit that bell. So every time I upload, you guys get notified. Just a simple man trying to be content and and uh, live a joyful life. So I'm 5'10". I fit perfectly from head to toe in my hatchback. I have a comfy bed. I got this bed at Lowe's. It's a sponge. I cut it to size. This thing was like 20 bucks, I think. I think it was like 15 bucks. And then I got a uh, yoga mat on top of that and then just a blanket that I got from Target I don't have no pillows I just have blankets this is a blanket my girlfriend got me and this is my dolphin blanket my grandpa got me back in 2015 I have a zero degrees sleeping bag and when I sleep at night I put these reflectix reflectors now my windows are tinted and I also got mosquito screen so you really can't see through these windows back here but you know, just uh, for my peace of mind. I put it on all windows. Uh, so yeah, let's give you on a little tour. Let me unlock. Uh, just going to make this video fast, you know. Uh, it's just a been a year. Can't believe it, how time flies. You know what I'm saying? It really does, guys. But I'm having a lot of fun. There's a lot of mosquitoes flying. I'm in an isolated area, so <laughs> I better get my little bastards on. Okay. Oh, that smells nice. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment. I gotta get a thumbnail for my YouTube video. I think this will be the thumbnail. So here's my little home, guys. I did a few changes before I used to have a little generator and stuff. I never used it, so I'm even more minimalistic as it is. So I just have my, this fills up my tires. Got my, fat grips for working out at the gym. Got a little bag here. Uh, here's my little speaker box if I want to hang out with some friends, jam out to some tunes. I got my little stove. I got my three books. These are my favorite books. I always read them.
So yeah, I survived winter in this car from negative 15 degrees to like 100 degrees in the hot summers of Colorado. I have my little fan here for those hot summer nights. For the winter nights, I have these heat holders. They're called heat holder socks. They're like really thick, comfy socks. Keep my sprays to clean my car. Oh. Under here, I have my spare tire, a couple other things. Here's all the clothes I own in my life. Got a couple of hats. Everything I need, guys. This is my zero degrees thing bag. Got it at Cabela's. It's kept me alive. Spare blanket. Yeah, and I like to just keep my reflectors just like that. No. So when I close it. Uh, let's come around here. Whew, look how pretty it is out. Starting to get green. Check that out. Feel the green coming in. All these trees are going to be full of leaves soon. This is a really nice isolated spot. I love coming here. I just put a bird feeder in front of my girlfriend's house. And this is what I get. <laughs> All right, so. Here I have my keys. Here's my dirty laundry. Got a hat. Got a pee bottle. Toilet paper. Always have a gallon of water, guys. Most important. It's always important to have water. Extra pee bottle. Trash bags. My spare stuff in here. This is my little thing for bananas. I keep them in my car. It's time to keep bananas. In the wintertime, they all die. And they taste gross. But in the summer, you can keep them in the car. Spare knickknacks. I have a medical kit back here. Just in case, always keep a metal medical kit in your car. Belt. So here's my mosquito netting. It's really nice. So you can't see in the car, which is pretty awesome. Like I have all the, the windows are rolled down right now. And when they're rolled up, you can't see nothing. All right, this is where I'm always at. Whether it's door dashing, just cruising around, making videos, doing my thing, you know. So I keep my cologne. Yeah, for those cold days, I have a thing for your neck here. It's like a turtle thing. Just put it around your neck. It's coming handy. Uh, little flashlight here. And yeah. I keep my bags when I check my oil on the side here. It's my little, when I go grocery shopping, my little pouch. These bags are like 20, 25 cents here in Colorado. So I conserve. Right there. Oh, and underneath I have a spare cloths to clean my car what the hell thought i had oh it's back here i gotta show you guys this under my driver's seat this is most important oh this is actually very important i have a we go now this jump starts your car if your battery dies you know you don't want to rely on sketchy people out here Especially if you're a woman, consider owning a WeGo. Not only does it jump your car, but it also charges your phone and it's a flashlight. So I highly recommend those. Just keep it right under there. And my little spoon when I'm cooking, camping. I haven't cooked with my little stove yet, but I'm sure I'll use it during the summertime when I'm camping with friends, loved ones. I got my reflectors here. 
This is my water bottle. I always take that everywhere I go, pretty much. To the gym, to work. This is my protein bottle. And I keep colognes. I have, all kind of, I have colognes everywhere. My phone charger. I keep my aviators right there. Yeah, and this is where you guys sit all the time. I have my grandma on my mirror. And I got my grandpa on a steering wheel. Check that out. I just washed my car the other day and it's pretty dirty. Got dirty fast. Look at all those damn birds. So over here, another pee bottle. <laughs> now trust me, there's been a times where I fill all them up. I got a cooler. My car is cool. Wanna know why? Because I have this transformer set up. I could fit four people in this car. I could uh, put the seats up, just roll my mattress, put that in the back. I could fit four people in here, which is pretty awesome for this tiny car. And I could sleep in here. That's pretty damn cool, if you ask me. But I uh, got my backpack. That's my where my, I keep my mirror if I want to shower or spare towel. Um, my little cooler, I keep mostly canned beans, canned pears, protein snacks in here. Uh, I have other things everywhere, but I just want to, I just want to make this real quick. I got a charger here. Charges the phone really fast. Recommend someone. If you're living this lifestyle, get a charger that really charges your phone fast. You know, I'm always making videos using my phone for work and whatnot. You know, important nowadays. My shoes. My car is a little dirty. I got my B12 and D3 mosquito repellent, sunscreen, uh, camera cleanse cleaner. Oh no. This is a hand cleaning spray. Where did I get this at? Someone gave it to me. More cologne, hand sanitizer. It's not much, guys. I live with very little, and I'm completely satisfied. This is as minimalistic as it gets, guys. Car life for the win. I was talking to this van lifer, van dweller the other day. He was like, you live in a car, man? That sucks. And this is coming from a guy that gets like 15 miles per gallon in his old 90s shit bucket. You know, I get 34 miles per gallon. And I'm always running around, getting paid to run around. Uh, it just feels so good to live with very little. All right, everyone. I thank you guys for watching.